So good afternoon, everybody, and thanks for inviting. Well, um, uh, Soren first, Soren Bovat, who couldn't uh, come today because he's ill, and so I took his place. I work with him in the, in the unique industry in Avea. Um, uh, so as well as you know, Horizon Europe is the most ambitious European RNI uh, program, which exceeds uh, the uh, Horizon 2020, and it will run from 2021 to 2027. And as you know, we are close to the final adoption of Horizon, uh, Horizon Europe and the first work program 2021-2022. Horizon Europe tackles climate change, helps to achieve the UN's sustainable development goals, boosts the European competitiveness and growth, and it also supports the creation of excellent knowledge and technologies and optimizes investment impact within a strengthened European research area. Our knowledge and skills are our main resources. While we are very good at producing excellent research, Europe can do better at transforming that research into innovation and entrepreneurship. We must ensure that Europe produces world-class science. We must remove barriers to innovation and make it easier for the public and private, private sectors to work together in delivering innovation. At this stage, I guess you, you are all or most of you are familiar with the structure of Horizon Europe. It is largely inspired in Horizon 2020. Horizon Europe is divided into three parts or pillars. Pillar one supports excellent science with the goal of maintaining and reinforcing the excellent science base in Europe. Pillar two tackles our global challenges and strengthens industrial competitiveness. And pillar three fosters breakthrough innovation in order to boost innovation capacity in Europe. In December 2020, the European institutions reached a political agreement on Horizon Europe and set its budget at 95.5 billion euro, including 5.4 billion from Next Generation Europe, the, the program within the Recovery Fund. With this budget, Horizon Europe is the largest transnational RNI framework program in the world. Horizon 2020 has been a successful program, but of course there are lessons learned. And from those, key, they are uh, the key novelties of Horizon Europe inspired, such as the ones you see on the slide. The European Innovation Council will support innovations with potential breakthrough. Uh, five missions will be part of Horizon Europe. Missions are sets of measures to achieve bold, inspirational and measurable goals within a set time frame and which are relevant for a significant part of the European population. Those are healthy oceans, cancer, adaptation to climate change, climate neutral and smart cities and soil health and food. There is a new approach to partnerships which will be objective driven and more ambitious. Partnerships with industry in support to European policy objectives. Open science principles will be applied, applied throughout the program and extended association possibilities will be set to strengthen the collaboration between member states and beyond. Also, there will be initiatives to spread excellence like mobility or rec recognition of participa participation, etc. European framework programs are uh, proved to be powerful for research and innovation impact. In particular, Horizon 2020 showed to be to have a high international uh, capacity um, with more than 150 countries participating, proved to deliver quality results with uh, three times more often uh, cited publications 
among the top 1% cited publications, also proved to be a flexible program with almost 50 million euro mobilized one week after the first case uh, of coronavirus in Europe at the beginning of February. Also, the Horizon 2020 delivered on the Sustainable Development Goals with 84% of investments tackling Sustainable Development Goals and 30% addressing climate change. Horizon Europe will focus on science acting and technology, but also on society and economy. It will, it will fuel European scientific and technology, technological excellence and strengthen the European research area. Horizon Europe will tackle policy priorities, including green and digital transition and sustainable development goals. And we, it will boost Europe's innovation uptake, competitiveness and jobs. More concretely, on, by, on Pillar 2, Pillar 2 has a budget of 53.5 billion euros and include, includes six fixed areas or clusters within, within which collaborative project, projects within topics will be funded. The topics of the upcoming work program 2021-2022 are prepared in line with the strategic plan 2021-2024, which defines the key strategic orientations for the first four years of Horizon Europe. This strategic plan has been prepared following an ambitious co-creation uh, plan, including member states, the European Parliament, associated countries, stakeholders and general public. The remaining part of this presentation will focus on the parts of Cluster 4, which are relevant for Sanergy and the CV initiatives. Uh, the team of the unit industry in ADEA uh, with Son and Bobat uh, has been indeed very uh, involved in the preparation of parts of uh, Cluster 4 Next Work Program 2021-2022. So three drivers will transform our industry, support SMEs and keep Europe sustainable and competitive. They are the green transition supported by the European Green Deal, the digital transition supported by the European Euro EU's digital strategy and the competitiveness of the global, at the global stage. Uh, Cluster 4 addresses some of the research and innovation priorities to support a sustainable recovery and further accelerating the twin green and digital transition to ultimately leading to a climate neutral and green Europe fit for the digital um, age. The vision of Cluster 4 is to foster competitive technologies respecting the boundaries of our planet and reflecting human needs. Cluster 4 addresses climate neutral, circular and clean industry industrial and digital transformation, major contribution and a major contribution, sorry, to inclusiveness and resilience. In December 2020, the budget of Cluster 4 was agreed at about 15.3 billion euros, including the next generation Europe. For the work program 2021-2022, the programmable budget is about 3.4 billion euros. Cluster 4 is divided into six destinations, which you can see on the slide. And for the remaining slides, I will focus on the first two uh, destinations, which are also relevant for Synergy and CDE. Lucia, if I may, uh, yes, you, you have five minutes. Okay, yes, I, okay. I, it will be fine. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so expected impact are set for each destination to which the expected outcomes of the topics will contribute. For destination climate neutral, circular and digitized production, the relevant uh, expected impacts are the creation of a new green, flexible and digital way to build and produce goods, setting out a credible pathway to contributing to climate neutral, circular and digitalized energy intensive industries, 
to increase productivity, innovation capacity, resilience, sustainability and global competitiveness of European energy intensive industries and to contribute to a sustain substantial reduction of waste and CO2 emissions. As indicated earlier in the talk, the World Programme 2021-2022 has not been officially approved yet. So some of the information regarding the topics might be subject to modifications. Within this destination, the first destination, topics identified as relevant are related to industrial, industrial urban symbiosis, carbon capture utilization, and electrification and use of renewables in process industry. And those are in the sections hubs for circularity, enabling circularity of resources and integration of renewables and electrification and are connected to the partnerships uh, processes for planet and clean steel. For the second destination, increased autonomy in key strategic value chains for resilient industry, the relevant expected impacts here are a sustainable by this uh, so sorry to achieve new sustainable by design materials with enhanced functionalities and applications the leadership in producing materials that provide solutions for clean toxic pollutant free environment decarbonizing industry and safeguarding civil infrastructures and the leadership in circular economy that strengthens cross-sectorial cooperation along the value chain and enables the transformation of business models. Within this, this destination, the relevant topics for sanity and CBE are in sections green and sustainable materials and materials for the benefit of society and the environment and materials for climate neutral industry, such as uh, topics related to the creation of an innovation community for solar fuels and chemicals, advanced materials for hydrogen storage, electrically heated catalytic reactors, membranes for gas separation, or safe and sustainable by design materials. While we wait for the publication and final adoption of the Horizon Europe um, work program 2021-2022, I invite you to follow us and keep up updated in the following links. And with that, I want to thank you for your time and for listening. <laughs>